Hi, I'm Neil with SKF. Today we're going to be working on this 2012 Nissan Versa. We're going to be changing out the front wheel hub. This particular hub is a little bit unique. It has a protective cover over the magnetic encoder ring. I'm going to show you a couple of tips to help you from damaging the old wheel speed sensor and from damaging the brand new hub unit. Let's get started. I got the wheel off and we're ready to begin. I did hit the CV shaft splines with some rust penetrant. That's going to help us out a little bit later. I also started to remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the wheel speed sensor. That does have to come off first, and we're going to show you why a little bit later in this video. And I've loosened that up. We do also want to spray that down with some lubricant. They're very difficult to remove sometimes. If it breaks on you, one of the easier ways to, to do it is just cut the cord and probably drill through it and knock it out from the inside. Um, but hopefully you can loosen that up, use a little rust penetrant, and it'll be uh, removed easily. Once you take the 10 millimeter bolt out, there's two little notches on the side of the ABS cord. You can just kind of grab those with your needle nose pliers. And they're not, they're not always so easy. You do have to play around with them a bit to get it out. But this little tip that's on the end, if you don't remove it now, it's going to break right off when you remove the hub. After the wheel speed sensor, we're going to be removing the caliper bolts. There's two of them, 17 millimeter. We're going to remove the caliper and hang it up with a bungee cord or mechanics wire. Helps get it up out of the way. Also prevents damage to the brake line hose. Then we're going to remove the rotor. Sometimes they're not so easy to come off. The rust penetrant certainly helped on this. Uh, sometimes just tap it with the backside with a hammer and it'll pop right off. Next we're going to be taking the axle nut off. Sometimes there's a cotter pin, we're going to remove that, remove the axle nut. Make sure you put a new cotter pin each time you change one of these. On this vehicle it's a 30 millimeter socket. And once you get that removed, in order to make it a little easier to get to the back of these hub bolts, you want to hit the center of this, whether it's a little punch or an impact, this will help slide the CV shaft back just enough to give you a lot of room in the back side. And that's where the rust penetrant comes in too. If that's a little bit tight, just spray it down another time inside uh, with a little rust penetrant, give it a little bit of time, it'll start to move. Moving the CV shaft back gives us a little extra room. We're going to be removing three bolts for the hub. There's one on this side, one right here, and then there's one up at top. Those also are 17 millimeter. Move these. We're ready to remove the hub. For real stubborn hubs, sometimes you have to use a hub puller. Otherwise, a good persuader, you hit it a couple times all the way around, it should come off. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you particular attention to this style of hub has a protective cover on the back side that protects the magnetic encoder ring your wheel speed sensor sits right in between that cover and the wheel and the magnetic pickup if you don't remove this when you take the hub off the tip will break right off each time the other thing to be careful of is this cover sometimes sticks in the knuckle so you want to make sure that's removed otherwise you're going to put a new cover on top of the old cover, you're going to damage the wheel speed sensor and you're going to damage the new hub unit. Before you install the new hub, it's a good idea to clean, clean out the steering knuckle, a little sandpaper all the way around, and also where the ABS wheel speed sensor is, it's not bad to get a little crocus cloth and clean that out because a lot of times rust builds up in there. Nissan also recommends a little molly coat on the back side of the CV shaft to help ease installation or additional removal at a later time. We got the new one ready to go in. Uh, we cleaned up the knuckle mounting surface. We put a little molly coat in there and we're ready to install and get these three bolts back up in place. Once we put the mounting bolts back in place for the hub, we want to go ahead and, and torque those up. The specification on this is 88 foot pounds. If you need to, push that CD shaft back a little bit to help get access to it. Tighten up all those to specification. I got the rotor back on. I'm going to put the caliper back in place. And we're 
We're also going to torque these up to 84 foot pounds. Install the axle nut. Again, 30 millimeters. We're just going to snug this up a little bit. And we're going to torque this down to 183 foot pounds. I'm going to put the cotter pin back in place. And then I'm going to install the wheel speed sensor on the back of that little 10 millimeter bolt. We got it all back together. Uh, we got a new cotter pin in. Don't forget to set the torque specifications for the lug nut in this vehicle. It's 83 foot pounds. Thanks for watching today. For more information on today's installation, you can visit us at www.skfpartsinfo.com for technical tips. And if you want more interaction, you can visit us at Twitter at skfpartsinfo.com.